900 head of ewes from the Heli Ranch in Dillon arrived in the city of Missoula this summer. They had a job to do, eating noxious weeds on Mount Jumbo and other hills around the city. Biological control on weeds is not a, um, a real quick fix but it is a tool in the, in the toolbox and it works to help reduce the seed bank. The sheep spent several weeks in Missoula, ending up at a ranch in Grant Creek. From there, Weston Helley, his dad and crew loaded the sheep for transport back home. So these are yearling ewes, they're all breeding stock. The ewes will find new homes as breeders all over the country, but first, the sheep are hauled back to Dillon to Helley Ranch headquarters. So we've had this uh, place in our family, either leased or owned since the mid-30s. The ranch John Helley and his brother Tom oversee is one of Montana's largest sheep operations. This is probably some of the best sheep country in Montana, I think. John's dad, Joe Helley, passed away several years ago. John and his wife, Karen, work with their children, his mom, brother, and extended family. The younger Helley traces his lineage back to his great-grandfather, who died young, leaving John's grandfather and his brother to raise their siblings. The boys quit school and went to work. 13, 14 years old when my Uncle George and my grandpa left school, but were able to build a ranch. It's ideal for the Rambouillet sheep they raise. The Rocky Mountains are actually great for growing high quality wool. Uh, green lush pastures in the summertime and cold harsh winters grow wool that's uh, very crimpy and it has a lot of loft, so it naturally is keep, keeps the sheep warm, which makes great warm clothing as well. It's that Rambouillet wool that makes Duckworth outdoor apparel. Duckworth makes shirts, hoodies, underwear, t-shirts. This is the vapor wool t-shirt. This is our blend. This isn't your grandma's old itchy sweater. Um, with uh, modern genetic technology, we've been able to breed the itchiness out of our wool. At shearing time, the hellies and shearers from all over the world come to relieve the animals of their fleeces. Uh, we saw the need for uh, American wool apparel that's made in the USA. What we want to do with our brand is connect people to our sheep and our ranch and the, and the wool that we produce off it so that they know where their products come from. If you would have asked me when I was a lot younger if I'd ever be in uh, the fashion business, I would have thought you were crazy. But I guess here I am. Most of the sheep are in their summer range, two and a half hours away, high in the gravelly mountains. Evan and his dad load up groceries and other supplies to take to the sheep herders who care for the animals in the mountains. We'll climb from 5,000 feet on the valley floor to 9,500 feet into the rugged gravels. This is pretty remote out here, no cell service. We travel through Heli Ranchland in the Sweetwater Basin in the Ruby Mountains. Our krells are right here on the creek where we do all our sorting and, and working in the fall. We're on the same route that gold seekers and pioneers took 150 years ago. We finally arrive at our destination. It's here, the Heli's lease forest service ground for grazing. Got four bands of sheep up here. Each band of sheep is located uh, spatially separated. We once over lightly grazing is kind of our plan. A sheep herder is responsible for each band. A band so is 1,000 ewes plus their lambs. Evan helps load his dad's four-wheeler with supplies to take to Armando, who's a good five miles away. John carries groceries, salt, and dog food for the sheep dogs. Those dogs are highly protective. He's going to tell the sheep to stay away from you. Traveling to the Heli Summer Headquarters is like stepping back in time 100 years, like this old sheep wagon built sometime in the 1900s. Each sheep herder's wagon is moved to a new location so the animals can graze new ground to prevent overgrazing. Sheep herder Saturnino is ready for his supplies. He's from Peru. He's constantly on the watch for predators. Sí, cuidar de coyotes, de lobos, de osos. That's coyotes, wolves, and grizzly bears. The sheep herder mounts his horse with his pack horse, continuing into the hills to watch over his flock. It won't be long until the sheep are moved down to Heli Ranchland for the winter. It's already getting cold up here. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.